CT is a challenge champion and his years of experience are paying off big time on the challenge Spies, Lies and Allies. How is he creating his world of the world to success? Let's find out. Hello Couch Potatoes, welcome to today's video. During this season of the challenge, the gameplay has kept the cast on their toes. Though the season started out as a pair game, it later switched to a different format featuring group teams like in Cutthroat. CT is in the Sapphire Cell, which had been struggling until a recent episode. Emmy won her third elimination challenge and joined back up with Uncle CT. Now, after the mid-season challenge twist, CT is in a better position in the game than ever. To some fans, CT's strategy this season feels very familiar to how he conducted himself on War of the Worlds 2. For one, the vet has kept a very low profile on the challenge spies, allies and allies because as he learned on War of the Worlds 2, it's not always a good idea to be the one making power plays. On War of the Worlds 2, CT let other players make big moves and send waves through the house. He's done exactly the same thing on the Challenge 37 Spies, Lies and Allies, letting Amy take the lead in their plan to get rid of CT's former partner, Burner, and again when he had Amy make all the moves to get on the Sapphire Cell. When CT lets other competitors make power plays, it keeps the target of his own back and so far it worked well. CT also learned on War of the Worlds 2 how important it is to build a strong team and you're only going to run a final as a team of multiple players. Oftentimes, players think that the best strategy is weaken their teams they will be competing against and will attempt to send their team's strongest players in elimination. But the better strategy in the long run is to get the strongest and most well-round players on your own team. That way, when a team goes into the final, they have a better shot at winning than other teams who didn't trim off their weak members. This is what Devon was talking about when he referred to that secret alliance aquamarine. I'm going to put a link to that video right here. It's obvious that CT is still a powerful challenger after all these years and his experience has only made him a more formidable player. Because the challenge Spies, Lies and Allies has switched to a different yet familiar format, CT can still use his past successes to help guide him to victory yet again. And congratulations on the movie gig. Can't wait to see it. I am also going to link that video right here. What do you think about CT's gameplay? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hey, Touch Potato, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.